Ooh. Mm. Now it's live. Yeah. So behave. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't expect you to behave. <laughs> okay. What are the others? Jake from State Farm. Hi, Jake. Oh, wait, I have to go to YouTube as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure. He said no sound. Which is weird. Do you have this? Uh, I hear you. But let me see if I can hear us. Yeah, I can hear it on YouTube as well. Yeah, I hear <laughs> this one. Grumpy dude. Hi, 3D Monkey. Great. We have a lot of people already. Five. <laughs> so how how is everyone? Everybody. Oh, he was on mute, of course. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I will quickly switch to you. <laughs> oh, hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. Uh, so we had plan uh, we had plans for for today's stream, but it kind of backfired. Uh, we wanted to to do ZBrush things side by side, but um, uh, Fortis has some kind of uh, job that he needs to do, so we cannot show his screen at the moment. My cat is attacking. Yeah, me. I have to finish something tonight and deliver it in the morning at seven a.m. So yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, and it's already 11:35 to your <laughs> place, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who do we have? We have Heino. Uh, he's he did few time lapses, if I'm not mistaken. Lately, you should check out time lapses. Yeah, mine stops so. Uh, that's why I don't know them. <laughs> okay. Sorry. It has bad taste. Yeah, for this always has secrets. And uh, I will try to model something a little bit later. We're we're waiting for one another guest to to join us. Um, and I, I'm I'm so so tired <laughs> today. <laughs> I. I I did We'd the like most. to bring two guests tonight. Let's see. Yeah, hopefully one will die in D and D and join us <laughs> as well. <laughs> so I, I did. I did a really stupid thing today. Um, my wife told me that we should go and and buy inline skates for for our daughter, and uh, she was trying them out. And I was looking at inline skates. I I never use them, and and my wife was like. What are you gonna buy one pair? And I'm like, yeah, I could do that. You know, like I was totally confident that I I can uh, you know <laughs> do that that kind of stuff. And and I mean there there are a few videos of of my attempts. I I only landed once on my ass, so that that's success. But I, I'm so tired, like why, trying why? to balance. Why we why we don't see this video already, man? It could bring <laughs> a lot of views and followers and viral, you know, videos and stuff. Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. I I actually sent a few things to to people <laughs> <laughs> so they can have make fun of me. My my colleagues at work. Uh, let me switch to that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> Play. Oh my god. <laughs> so. Uh, oh, look, the ball spot. Um, this this part of, of whatever that thing is is slightly curved, and I don't know how to stop. So <laughs> I, I have stopped, but <laughs> then I just went backwards. And I have no clue how to stop. And this guy is coming at me. <laughs> oh, my wife saved me. She's a hero. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
So yeah, that's that's one of the things. But I mean, I'm almost almost doing it properly now, except I'm I'm like. Oh, come on, so are the good ones. Look at it. I'm going. Like, no, this is not the good one. The good one is the one you come. fall down. Oh no no no! I don't <laughs> have that one. Oh come on. Man. But I'm almost falling down. Look at me. Look at me. Opa. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm so confident to even do this. Oh. <laughs> yeah. You're, you're ready for special Olympics, man. <laughs> yeah, very special ones. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, let's let's move that. So no one sees it anymore. Oh, Film and Friends is, is here. Hi, Tom. How's the head? Hi, Tom. I'm, I'm still waiting for that, all the single ladies video. All the single ladies. <laughs> ben is saying, Bambi on ice. Yeah, yeah, that's me. <laughs> hey. Oh, who is that? I don't know. <laughs> Where is this voice coming from? The internet. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, hear the voice, man. <laughs> look at him surrounded with everything. <laughs> what is the what? matter? There's... What's going on there, man? <laughs> um, I'm sick, but I'm playing with all of this stuff over here to the left of me. It's Ooh. printing right now. Oh. oh. He, Don't uh, can I guess what it's printing? Yes, it's the toxic dude. No, <laughs> <laughs> it's printing uh, the Joseph Prusa test print. Ah, uh, is is that the one with uh, with with that wheel with all the spikes and everything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. <laughs> uh, sorry, I might be dying. If I die on screen, veteran, you can have my SL one. Yes. And yeah, this video will go viral, so he will be rich. Yes. <laughs> You'll be the richest man in the world after that. <laughs> okay. More than, Lo more than Logan Paul. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I obviously did some, some something, so I now I have to manually switch between everything. How how can I do it automatically so it switches to uh, to anyone who is speaking? You have to unclick whatever is clicked. Oh. So if you go to the, the bottom right where all the faces are, you have to, uh, like, one of them is probably selected, so you have to unclick. Yep, that was you. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> I didn't do what I can, bro. <laughs> so tell us how loud is SL1? Can you hear it now? Nope. That's about how loud it is. <laughs> I can hear the the fan going. You can't hear. There's no uh, there's no pop. It does have a FEP film, so don't let me hear that pop when it's doing the peel. There's no peel noise because it's has the tilt vat. And you can probably see the tilt vat a little bit. I had to back yeah. the camera up so I can get me and the stuff in the the camera. Yeah, but I, I'm seeing it. But it doesn't make no sound at all when it peels. No, no peel sound because there's no actual. Because it's it's tilting, so the peel is very soft and and gentle. Um, That's cool. Which is kind of nice. Like I was worried that one was either going to be really loud, um, but it wasn't. It was actually really quiet. Because I was like, man, you know, maybe it'll be like the Mark III, where it's like silent, and you're like, that's not silent. Yeah. So so when I got uh, uh, my first MK3, I started printing everything with it. So my photon went to my neighbor. <laughs> and, uh, I I brought it back like I think a week ago, so I I started printing like first print and I was like what I I don't remember it it was that loud <laughs> like I I couldn't sleep I was printing uh, the the clown and so it was insane so so I'm really glad that Tesla One is actually quiet yeah it's definitely quieter than any printer I've owned so it just has a li a light hum because there's three. Three fifty 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 fifteen fans inside. 
Oh. So there's a lot of fan on here. And I think there's a bigger one on the back. Does the, the, does the resin smell? Yeah, well, uh, it's the same thing. The the Prusa orange has literally, it's, it literally has no smell. Like, I'm standing right here and I can't smell it. I am sick, but I can smell resin. Um, I don't smell anything from here, but if I get to like right, if I get right up to it, I can smell it. So it does a really good job at not being smelly. Um, I have fun to do ash gray in there right now, which fun to do doesn't smell very bad to me, at least. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I tried it. It's, it's really good. At least the one I have. Um, yeah, I love fun to do resin. So we haven't seen unboxing. Did, did you uh, had to assemble anything or it was pre-assembled already? It was pre-assembled. Uh, they wanted to make sure that they could build it first, right? So um because there is i'm not i don't have no idea what the build process is but i'm guessing it's it's probably has to be pretty exact because you know but uh no it was completely assembled it comes really well packed like i was really surprised at the packaging um there is like six or eight inches of gap between the box and the the printers they put it directly in the center with foam insert so there's no way like you can kick the box you i don't think you'll ever get to the printer so they did a really good job making sure no one could uh, break their printer before it gets to you. Um, that's, that's great. I mean, I, I really love their packaging of um, of uh, FDM printers. Uh, I, I work in uh, in agency that was before that design studio, and we had a, a press company. So we yeah. were, you know. I was clo close to all of that, and you know, packaging was always something that interested me, and I mean, Prusa Prusa, they, they really did a good job on that. Yeah, the boxes were huge. Um, I can't drag them up here, but <laughs> I mean, they're at least, the box is at least this big in the longest direction, <laughs> and the printer's like half that big. So they, they went above and beyond to make sure that thing stays in, in the center of the box, <laughs> and it's really well padded. Like, I... Um, when the, when the DHL dropped it off, he dropped it off the wrong direction. I had the arrows pointing like this way and he just set it down upside down. I'm like, Oh, good. <laughs> typical. <laughs> so Thanks. typical, man. Thanks buddy. Um, <laughs> at least at my house, could you pretend it was, I mean, it had fragile stickers all over it on every side, like fragile point this way. No, it just sets <laughs> it right down upside down. And then it sets the other box on top. I'm like, whatever, you know, yeah. and this thing's heavy, by the way, this thing, <laughs> <laughs> this is still my face yes this yeah you should change that to your profile picture <laughs> <laughs> yeah this thing is like 30 pounds it took me a while to move this from where it was to here because it was on the center of the table and i had to move it over here to clean the whole table and then move it over here and i was like i'm too sick to move this heavy thing around because <laughs> it definitely is way heavier than the photon like substantially heavier uh, ben is asking, uh, did they approach to you? Uh, I mean, we, we don't know how they how they picked uh, uh, beta testers, but I know that uh, uh, Joseph actually asked one for for you. At least I've heard it. Yeah. So um, the this beta test was way different than the MMU two. They I don't remember how many beta testers there were. There were less than twenty for the MMU two. This time they went to twenty. And I had asked, I had placed an order for an SL1 and it got canceled. And I was like, what's going on? They're like, don't worry, we'll get you an SL1. And I was like, okay, am I beta testing? And he goes, probably. And I was like, okay. So that was, a, that was initially picked out, I guess, in the beginning. <laughs> I was literally <laughs> like, when they launched, I was like, Joseph, why is this? And he's like, well, we're going to have you tested. I was like, that's fine, whatever. So. But I have no idea because I know one person that's beta testing that actually knew, and that was Chris Russell. Everybody else that's in there, I maybe have heard of two of them. Everybody else I don't know. I was like, I don't know who any of you are. And one of them lives in Illinois. And I was like, mm -hmm. how, how are you living in the same city state as me? And I've never, I don't know who you are. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, but it seems like they pick people with different uh, abilities. Like I have the photon and then Chris Russell has a Moai. And they have this D print man from Germany, I think is the printman or whatever. Uh, he's never had a resin printer. So they picked people that didn't have them, people that had them, people that experience. So and then I don't see any of the famous YouTubers on there again because they didn't have anyone 
Um, yeah, they they haven't picked uh, people from poor countries. Let's say like Croatia. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's, he's... <laughs> ah, he's Dutch. Uh, yeah, I, I'm. I'm mostly uh, interested in um, uh, the what is called CW one. Yeah, that thing over here, the thing named after me. Because literally, when I play video games, I've always typed in CW one because I don't have a middle initial, so I always <laughs> did CW and the one when I play like NBA Jam or whatever when I was a kid. So, um, so they actually made the water for you, man. Yeah, pretty much the curva. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Sorry, everyone that knows what that means in other languages. <laughs> yeah, we know, we know, we know, we know. <laughs> <laughs> and that thing's been pretty cool. Um, it's the only thing that is loud, uh, but it only it's only loud for five minutes that you're doing the wash, the 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 drying because it does have a built-in dryer. I don't know if people knew that. It is a you can set it to a temp to get to, and then it'll dry for a certain amount of time. And then once it's done drying, it'll cure. So it'll dry your print first, which is really nice. I didn't know it was going to do that. Um, and you can also just set it to just cure, or you can set it to just dry, or you can set it. So if you don't want to use it for all three, you can, um, and it's all automatic. Like if the, let me open it. Don't break it. I'll get another one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure. Veteran will not. So there's that big hey. metal tray in there. Um, when you pull that out. And then you put the prints on the spinner to dry. It automatically switches to dry and cure mode. So um, you don't actually have to do anything. It's pretty neat. So uh, it is still way too sturdy. Like I, this thing is sturdy as all can be. And I can't believe that like these things are just tanks. Hold on. I'm going to do a shot of cough syrup. So Nazdravya. <laughs> really? Uh, uh, okay. I feel better now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I need something li like that. I don't want to do the Breaking Bad situation. I have every single time I'm cleaning my prints. It's like me in the underwear with the mask uh, in, in the kitchen. And like people can probably see me because I have a big window up front. And, like uh, I'm wondering like who, who passed under my balcony and like, just looked at me and like, what, what is this guy well, doing? This guy wearing gloves and a suit and, and, and I'm like shaking it like crazy, like look, looking in the jar. <laughs> <laughs> well, what I, I'm ordering two more of the pans because normally when I do a, a cure and wash, the, my wash is normally clean water, like distilled water and soap. Mm -hmm. And then I use isopropyl alcohol and then I go back to clean water with nothing and then I cure it. So... Unfortunately, they picked a European standard pan, so I couldn't find any cheap ones in America. So I'm getting someone to ship me some 178 millimeter by 162 millimeter by 200 millimeter steam pan, <laughs> one six steam pans. <laughs> uh, but someone just asked, can you use other resin? Prusa's tested 100 resins. So if you go to the uh, uh, Slicer Prusa edition, uh, beta, the newest one, uh, if you click on the regular height, so 0 0.5 millimeter layer height, there's like a hundred resins already listed, including um, even my favorite, which is that fun to do ash gray, which is this color. This, this gray, fun to do ash gray. It's my favorite for D&D &D minis. Oh, you you made yourself nice. I oh, yeah, my veteran. There's so many of me, by the way. There's one, yeah. Two, three, I'm four, actually, five. I'm actually, uh, I was like thinking, damn, why didn't I put it on my mini factory so I can have a bunch of downloads? <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. By, uh, by the way, um, we, we need to say about your Patreon page. Oh, I have uh, a Patreon and you can download the mini from there. <laughs> yeah. And the money for, goes for free uh, into a good cause. Yeah, the so. first month is going to go all to Oscar Mike, which I'm wearing their clothing again today, um, which is uh, uh, so they raise money. It's 100 percent nonprofit. They do T-shirts and uh, they raise all this money for uh, adaptive athletes. So these are vets who come back that are missing a leg or all their legs or their arms or arms and legs, and they help them. Uh, you know, teach them that they can do something competitive, you know, 
a lot of people think when they get injured like this, they can't do anything anymore. Um, and their goal is to get these people, you know, you know, going again. And that's what Oscar Mike means in the military. Oscar Mike means on the move. So they're trying to get these people, um, you know, doing cool stuff. So they take them like Aspen for skiing. They teach them how to do wheelchair rugby, um, a lot of adaptive sports. So like even Spartan races. So you'll see guys that are like missing a lot of limbs and they're doing Spartan race. I'm like, I can't do a Spartan race with all my legs. So all of my legs, like you, you're the spider. <laughs> yeah, I know exactly what he's talking about, man. I can't do it either. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Ron is asking, are there any non-toxic uh, resin that can be used I don't, in printers? There shouldn't be. No, I don't think there is. Because one of the main chemicals in the resin, unfortunately, they're all toxic to some extent. Like, the fumes aren't bad. You definitely want to be in a large room and ventilated if you're, you know, like if you're in a, you know, like in a closet, you definitely don't want to huff it. But like fun to do doesn't have any VOC. The VOCs, they don't have, they don't give off a gas that's painful to you. Uh, no carcinogens. But there's a symptom called, um, I can't remember what it's called. Some people are allergic to the chemicals in resin. So that's the issue. So you might not know until you buy your first printer if you're allergic to resin. Um, and then what's worse is if you're in contact with resin, like you actually touch it with your skin a lot, you can become allergic to it. Um, I forget what yeah. that term is called, but you definitely want to wear gloves and don't just like shake your print with resin off, like clean everything. Like I reclean my whole desk, even though I've been pretty good. You know, I, I went through like 50 pairs of gloves already. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I ate racing one or two times. Yeah, I think everyone has. <laughs> yeah, I've eaten, eaten a fish out of the ocean. Plenty of plenty of resin, plenty of resin in there. Like if I need to clean my uh, fingerprints, if I do any crime in the future, I will miss a lot of those. But after I finish with with resin, I can go back exactly where I want, where where I was. I can I clean all of the stuff like yep. two two times just to be sure. <laughs> Especially because of my cats, um, but uh, for those who who haven't tried any resin, they who who never was close to the to the resin. Uh, for me personally, it's it smells like ozone. Yeah. Like if, and if people don't know what what is that, like if you have ever uh, like remove that motor from from toys and and then you you had that nasty smell that that's the sound of that's the smell of ozone so it, it's pretty close to that uh I, I i've used fun to do i've used uh uh isan's resin and those <laughs> those ones were the the ones with the least smell at least for me the least smell for me was form labs you can ba barely smell form labs yeah, that's, I think that's the point of their stuff is they're actually really safe for the most. I mean, they're as safe as they can be, and they also don't smell bad because I, I ended up buying some Wanhao gray one day because I couldn't find any Monocure gray, couldn't find any gray, uh, no, any cubic gray. And I was like, I'm going to order this Mon, uh, this uh, Wanhao gray. Oh my gosh. Like I opened it up, got a headache, whole house smells of resin. Yeah. That's and why I, I keep it outside of the house, man. I don't keep resin printers in the home in the house anymore. Yeah, I'll so never buy Juan How resin. <laughs> <laughs> Someone had a good question here. How many milliliters so, of resin? Uh, they, I don't know if beta is different, but we got one hundred and one thousand five hundred milliliters. We got one red that was uh, a liter, and a five hundred of re orange, which apparently you can notice I haven't used yet, and. Yes, Kevin Clack. Uh, the allergy is called sensitization, so you become sensitive to the material, which sucks. That's the worst. Is like you could be fine, and then one day you've just messed with resin too much, and now you have, you know, you start going into shock, or you, your lungs start to close up. So, <laughs> so, so you're telling me that if spider goes into a resin and then bites you, there can. You will be the, the resin man, not spider man. <laughs> You'll be spider resin man. You'll be very <laughs> brittle. <laughs> and when you fall down, you go into one million pieces, you know. Superpower. So <laughs> so how's the, the beta testing going? Uh, I've heard that uh, first you needed to print 
uh, some test prints. I, yes. I, obviously, I've seen, uh, I have three of the test I, I have a checklist I can't show screen. anyone, but I actually have a, a seven-step checklist. So first impressions, I had to actually write a fill-in and survey for how the packaging was, how they can improve the packaging, how the unpackaging went, how the, how this, you know, and then inspect it to make sure everything was in, you know, wasn't broken. And then I had to do it. I mean, I did so many surveys and questions and they gave you no support. Like you couldn't talk to anybody at Prusa about it. So they're, they're trying to make it, this is definitely different than the MMU2. You, you were basically considered a regular customer, but with surveys. <laughs> so you, you, no one could help you. Like you couldn't ask support. You couldn't message support because support just got theirs too. It's so like Shane got his the same day I did. So he doesn't know anything more than I do. Like, you know, we didn't have access to the manuals beforehand. Uh, we had no, we had no, we had no videos, like nothing. Like MMU2 is different. This one was like, hey, figure it out. If you can't fill out these surveys, <laughs> yeah, once you fill them all out, we'll give you help. I know that a lot of people are asking this, uh, were there one, one uh, bag of Haribos or two? One bag of Haribos. Two. Really? Yeah, just one. Two it, was devices. Only, it was only in the SL1. They know I'm fat, man. They, <laughs> they're like, man, we can't give Chris two bag of Haribo. <laughs> He's got to make it into the Murph doors. <laughs> Which Joseph and Shane will be at Murph, and they'll have, I believe they'll have the SL1 there. I'm in the dev chat now, and I, I heard talkings of what will be at Murph. So... <laughs> <laughs> that's great uh, what else can you say about um, literally everything there's no media blackout um, well I, I heard that you cannot you, you cannot talk about uh, yeah the uh, issues yeah yeah so if we've experienced anything you know and we I mean I did have three I went three failed prints in a row and I sat down and I was like I'm going to recalibrate it because there's an actually one of the most amazing things on this compared to the photon is that screen on there. I don't know if you guys can see how bright and clear that screen is. Yeah, it's good screen. But it is like your cell phone. Like I have an iPhone and it's just as responsive. You know, it's just as bright and and colorful as like a cell phone screen and it because it is. It's actually a cell phone screen because it's running on a 64-bit board. Yeah, but how, so. <laughs> how it looks compared to any decent phone? It, it looks as good as my iPhone from a distance, so it, it's pretty. It's just smaller. It's slightly better than photons. Just, just, just a touch. Just a touch better than the photon screen. <laughs> just, if you take the photon screen and put twenty more cents into it, this is what you get. Um, but the coolest thing is when you're going through calibration, it'll be like, here's this step, and then you can slide over and watch a video and see pictures on how to do that step. So you actually get a tutorial on the machine telling you how to use it. So you don't have to look at your manual. So you'd be like, hey, okay, here's this step. Remove these screws and you can slide over, look at the steps and watch the video of what screws is telling you to undo. So um, yeah, they, they definitely went well above and beyond to make sure people can't mess this up. And I just kind of quickly went through the video and kind of quickly started doing stuff. And then I was like, maybe I did the calibration wrong. And then once I fixed that, it was fine. And it's not stopped printing since then, so. Yeah, they Did haven't met me. I would find <laughs> a bunch of problems. Like, did you have uh, Did you have a fail yet? Not since the first three. No, everything that I've printed is right here. There's not a not a failed print here. I might be missing something because I think I gave someone one of the rings because there was, you know, I had a, this was my first successful print was the Eiffel Tower. I was going to be gone all day for ten hours. I had a date that night, so I was like, I guess I'll start this and hopefully that doesn't set my machine on fire. Um, <laughs> and then I printed all the tests, so, you know, there was some rings, there was these little flowers, and then I printed the test Prusa and with all the spikes, and then I started printing my own stuff. Once you printed the four test prints successfully, you could then start printing your own. <sighs> yeah, this thing cannot tip over. Um, <laughs> you, you really have to try hard to tip this thing over. All of the weight is in the bottom, um, and it's it's completely solid steel and brushed aluminum. There's no plastic besides the printed parts and this like acrylic screen for the most of the body. 
and even inside is mostly metal. So, <laughs> of course, it's heated. It's heated. Uh, I I assume. No, it's not heated. No, no, that's not good. The curvas, the curvas heated. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, it's heated to to keep the resin, you know, hot because the resin no. doesn't work well with cold. It doesn't. But on, what's weird is I initially thought my issues were my cold temperatures in my basement. My basement's about sixteen Celsius. Um, it's been printing fine with stock settings, which on my photon I'm always two or three seconds higher on exposure time. You know, like fun to do is like 11 seconds per layer, 12 seconds per layer. I'm doing it in eight seconds over here. So whatever magic is in here, I have no idea. Um, but there's no heating, but it does stay warm. Um, it doesn't actually have like an ambient tense temperature sensor. But what's different about this is the photon just shoots the air straight out the back. So whatever's in here goes through that filter and gets shot out. What Bruce has done is there's actually an internal thing that keeps circulating the air through a carbon filter and the air just kind of stays warm inside yeah, of the machine and then a very right. little of it gets exported after it's been cleaned heavily so um there's no heater but you can see there is an ambient temperature sensor so you can see what the temperature is inside and outside and uh, yeah that's why okay uh tell me about the the build plate is it uh, smooth or is it like sanded um it is cnc machined perfectly flat i even went and tested that i grabbed a flat ruler that i have um one of those Faint, I don't have, yeah, I'd probably put it somewhere. One of those like rated DIN flat rulers. And yeah, um, everything is CNC machined aluminum in there and then brushed. <laughs> it's pretty intense. Um, I can see why it costs so much money. Uh, tell me, tell me when, when does the beta uh, ends for you? I have no idea. Um, we have new stuff coming in today. Um, they wanted to give us new screws for the VAT. So instead of just sending us the screws because it would have cost $30 to ship now two day DHL, they just threw in a whole VAT and some extra things, maybe even another bag of Haribo because I was, you know, didn't have my second bag. Uh, yeah. And uh, some extra screws so I can replace the screws on here. But I, I already had the screws. Um, well, I didn't. I just ordered them and had them next day because I live an hour from this giant warehouse that has everything. McMaster car. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if the, the warehouse is closed, send one to the veteran, you know, <laughs> to, change, to change that face. Like, dude, I, I live so close. I'm like five hours from them. They, they could save so much on, on shipping. <laughs> you can just go down there. I guarantee they'll let you in, let you play with it. Well, I mean, Eastman, Fortis, and I are planning to, to go to, to Prusa mm. Company. But I'm still from the company. But I, I'm from from a country where we we just like to take stuff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> we are just like that. <laughs> yeah, I, David. I don't, I don't want Mikolas running after me, and I mean he knows my address. <laughs> they send me stuff, so it's it's kind of tricky, you know. <laughs> yeah, Mikolas is just Joseph with a mask on and a different accent. Come on, now there's only three Josephs that work there. Yeah, I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, David Usman over there is like, yeah, the UV lamp on the photon is really weak. And this thing has an array. So it has nine LEDs in an array. And it's very powerful. So that could be it. Wow, that's cool. So. I have no idea. And uh, yes, we have you can a question. The build volume, uh, Stephen asks. I believe it's what? the same as the photon. I don't that have, sucks. oh wait, I have Slicer next to me. Hold on. I'll tell you exactly what it is. Print settings is um, one. Oh, oh my God. We have what? a comment from Eastman. Oh my God. Yeah. And I replied to him. <laughs> the, that, that, that reply was to Eastman and you didn't tell me. Yeah. Oh my God. Please forgive me, David. What did I miss? <laughs> Uh, it's 121 by 68 millimeters by 150 millimeters, which is basically the same size as the photon. Yeah, it's the same. Um, but it does have another cool thing. So a lot of people were making fun of it because it had LAN and Wi-Fi. And I was like, I really don't care about logging into it. Like, I'll just, you know, I have a thumb drive and, you know, I'll make that work. Um, 
but our memory card was supposed to have the test files to print. And I was like, well, I guess I'll mess around, you know, since I couldn't, I didn't have the test files on my memory card. I was like, I guess I'll mess around with other stuff. So I plugged in because I've, I don't know if you guys can see the Wi-Fi or the Ethernet cord. I plugged it in and it automatically connected. And then I was looking on the menu, it goes download test files. I was like, okay, download. And it downloaded the test files directly to the printer. <laughs> And I was like, "This is actually pretty sweet." <laughs> like, and so then, this um, is this will happen to, for firmware updates, uh, I suppose. And yeah, it can do over the air firmware. You can actually, uh, like, they can put new videos to show you how to do stuff on the thing. And then also, you can send from Slicer directly to this to your memory card, so you basically don't have to do anything. You can just, you know, I can go upstairs and slice a bunch of stuff and just send it to the printer and then hit slice. So, and now, um, he, and and now he's like, Chris, you sound weird. Maybe you should go and take a rest or something. <laughs> uh, Steven, why didn't they make a bigger one like 250 by 250? Because there's absolutely no screen that's good enough for that. The with the screen technology, you'd have to go to 4K to get a bigger screen. Or but for a, DLP, yeah, for DLP. So when you go to 4K, the pixels actually get bigger when the screen gets bigger. So a 4K in double this size would actually have less resolution and less quality than this screen and a 2K screen in this small a size. So um, the other issue is uh, pull force on a DLP at that size. I, you know, I've never seen a DLP that big. Like, I don't know. I don't even know if you can do it. Like, I, I've seen bigger ones, but not like 250 by 250. Um, you could definitely do more Z height. I don't see why you can't just do that. You know, if you want a taller, just put a bigger lead screw on there. I guess the only issue would be stability. But this has both a, I think, a 16 millimeter linear rail plus a 12 or 14 millimeter ball screw. So it's also the way it's also the weight. If you make huge objects on this one, it will collapse. I'm sure that's why they made top down printers. Yeah. Yeah. If they did a submerged printer, you could probably do something bigger like the ones that are in the gel. Um, I don't know, Stephen. I think they will get bigger. Um, the, the things like the Moai 200, I think the Moai 200 is what 200 by 200 by something crazy. There is a huge one, uh, frozen and kicked yeah. right now. That thing looks awesome. Um, I don't know how this will work. It's huge and it's you know, it's not top down, it's it's like the other ones. Yeah, I don't know how this will work. So it all depends on the technology, and I think the technology will probably get better. But for the most part, you know, people who are buying this or for doing, you know, you can do a giant, awesome object just doing pieces. So I mean, if I want to print a toxic Avenger, you know, triple the size, I just print it in pieces. But you'd have to hollow it, and um, you know, as long as it's accurate enough, the pieces will go together just like FDM. So what kind of questions we have? AK iPad screen someday. Yes, definitely. <laughs> but not today. <laughs> I will never forget Fotis. Never, says David Eastman. I I I've, I went to <laughs> to open the door so my cat can go outside and I missed something. What did I miss? Everything. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> The uh, the SL one said hello, veteran, and then it it went back to printing. Oh, because someone said wow. it was self aware. It knew that you're here. I feel like I'm in the presentation of Macintosh, you know, in ninety. <laughs> <laughs> this used to come out of a t out of the ground like. <laughs> hello, human. <laughs> it's the Lisa. Uh, yeah. Yeah, other than that, it's it's a it's a normal. It's basically you know if you if you thought that like a really high end car manufacturer rebuilt the photon, this is what the SL one is. It's just really shiny and pretty, and it's a shiny photon. You mean? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so so well, how many how many printed parts are inside? Not many, just the knob. The screen case, there's like a little support piece back here. And then on the inside, there's a few printed pieces. It's it's mostly all metal, 
which is why it's so expensive. They they only used it for little things. Like on the on the on the curing and washing station, it's the handle and the then the knob button and then the screen holder for the screen is printed parts. So it's again all metal again. So well, um, we like metal. Yeah, we we do. It, it makes it heavy, which is going to be weird for people who are going to open source this. Like, all right, here's all these CAD pieces for all these brushed aluminum pieces. Figure it out. <laughs> 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 and that's the other thing someone just mentioned like you'd run out of resin you know on a huge printer and that is an issue <clears throat> because it will eat resin i mean hollowing helps and and they will add hollowing and and holes in uh uh the prusa slicer the the slicer prusa edition so that way you can use less material really but until then you know well you can still do it in mesh mixer I do hollowing and mesh mixture all the time. So yeah, like, me too. They solve that with the top-down printers. They use glycerin, you know. Yep. It goes to the bottom, and the the resin, you know, floats on top. So yeah, the the, the light go, goes on top. I'm okay, okay with that. Yeah, sure. Uh, Carl, it was actually a full assembled unit because they wanted us to start right away. So. It's a and Tesla it, under the printers, <laughs> and because you would hear uh, you hear a lot of explosions around there if they want to, you know, assemble an S L one. Yeah, <laughs> they, definitely, they definitely want to make sure they could do it right first. So and it makes sense because um, <clears throat> it's it's not, you know, for people like me who have never built a resin printer. I don't think many people. Have I know like I follow some uh, really cool Facebook groups where people build printers and they've built their own resin printers, but uh, this is definitely something I've never I won't be able to like figure out if something's wrong. I won't I don't know where to start. <laughs> is it the screen? Is it the tilt? Is it the settings? Is it I didn't adjust the thing well? So th there's a lot of new uh, troubleshooting for everybody. Um, Steve, that's a good question. I think the screens would get expensive because the edges of LCD panels are where the connectors are. So if you tried to butt them up together, there still has to be room for the connections, as far as I remember from looking at LCD screens. Um, but you might be able to stack them, you know, but then you have to align them all perfectly. So this becomes a really fun... <laughs> Here, guys, build this system to hold four screens all completely parallel to each other. <laughs> and yeah. I feel, and I feel, someone's gonna mess that up. <laughs> no, that's really but, easy. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like I'll, I'll design it. Uh, Carl, the the printer will give off a smell depending on the resin. Um, from the distance I'm at, I also have a cold, so it's hard for me to tell. But the first day I had this. I also was, I had, didn't have the sinus cold. I just had the cough. Um, I couldn't smell it when I was about this far away. As soon as I get about six to eight inches from the printer, I can smell it. And it's not bad. It's, it's all based on the resin. And everybody's a little bit different. Like if we tell you fun to do doesn't smell, other people be like, no, fun to do smells because everybody reacts to resin differently. So you, you weren't sick on the day when you got your I package? was sick. I was a little bit. Monday, Monday night. I was already, I couldn't sleep at all. I got maybe an hour or two of sleep on Monday night because I was um, coughing all night. And then the package came in and then it just continued to get worse as, you know, I started working on everything. Yeah, it's, it's the resin, you know. <laughs> it's the and, resin. And he went on a date, so. Yeah, it's the date. <laughs> <laughs> so at least did the, did the, the date go well. Oh yeah, yeah. She's still talking to me, so okay. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good start. <laughs> <coughs> she was sick last week. So. <laughs> the printer is not up. No, it definitely hasn't because my basement's cold, so I come down here constantly <coughs> to work on it, and then I go back upstairs and I lay on the couch like a dumbass because I'm dying, and then I come back down here another hour. And I'm like, <laughs> be the first man killed by an SL one. If it falls on me, definitely. If this thing fell out of like a two-story building, you're dead. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, if I, if I get one, so my wife will have to bring it home. I have, I have sensitive hands. You know. It's from all the typing. From this thing. 
Yeah, <laughs> on the tiny pencil. Oh. How much time is rest for the print to finish? I see the bar is full. Um, it looks like it's gonna be really close. When I oh, hold on. let me move all of these veteran toxic avengers. Oh, oh. It's probably the Toxic Avengers that made you sick. Yeah, one of them is glow-in-the-dark. So, could be that. You know, I use it as a nightlight when I go to bed. <laughs> oh, so sweet. What's funny is, in my office, um, I have one of those thing hands that holds my Apple Watch to charge, and I print it in glow-in-the-dark so I can find it when I turn the lights off. Best feature of glow in the dark. It does work. It's going to drop oh. everything. 12 minutes remaining, it says. Oh, yeah. Cool. Uh, what, are you, what are you printing now? Uh, the same test piece, the one with Joseph pushing this. Ah, uh, yeah, you're totally making it. But I'm not it's watching. These, yeah. It's got these spikes on it, and you can see the text, and it says, hold on, I actually need to magnify in the text. It actually prints down to I think one micron. <laughs> so let me see what this thing says for the text here. Um, yeah, no, point, no Haribos for you. Yeah, it has a hole the size of 0.1 <laughs> millimeters. So yeah, no more Haribos for me. <laughs> if it says no Haribos for you, it would be amazing if they have to do that. <laughs> you get no Haribos, Chris. Thanks, guys. You know my addictions at the Prusa store. <laughs> I'm going to organize all these by Chris's. So there's Chris's. There's another Chris. There's Oh, here's my buddy's uh, Draco Knuckle Duster. He's an action figure maker, so that's his muscle character. <laughs> yeah, Sinus Cold was on the checklist. It was right after Don't Eat the Haribos because they have someone coughed on them. And then I already already eaten them. <laughs> oh, well, you have come. I, I got three upgrade kids and no Haribo, so poor Justin for you. <clears throat> I also got three upgrade kits and no Haribos, but I think that would make the upgrade kits forty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh! Well, your your cough is not that bad. I expected worse. It this morning it was horrible, and it it's starting to calm down. I do better later on in the day. I definitely need to go outside and get some fresh air because this kid. Ooh, yeah, that is a the frozen the huge one they make is crazy, but the price tag on it. The price tag on it is not. Ridiculous, if if you know what I mean. But I don't know how this will work with, uh, you know, that build platform. I, I have no idea. Yeah, I sense that if you if you put a huge print on it, it will fail. Yeah, I definitely have to hollow it, and don't print any like solid pieces, like you know, a big Raspberry Pi case or something, or a whole TV. Like, try to, don't print a whole TV in there. <laughs> it might fall apart. But they do make a really good printer. Their printers are actually really awesome. But if, if you notice, they're actually pretty expensive. So, um, yeah, I don't like expensive. I'm, I'm cheap. <laughs> I prefer the top down. It's safer. It's eleven hundred dollars less than the SL one. The Frozone Shuffle XL is. Thirteen forty nine. Yeah, thirteen forty nine euros. So that's going to be worse for me in America. So it's actually more expensive for me. Well, boohoo! <laughs> and, and the and the print print volume is only one ninety by one twenty by two hundred with a two K screen, and that two K screen at that size is going to be pretty bad. So, yeah, it's only seventy five micron on the X and Y. So that is four times worse than the than the SL one. So it's bigger. I think the standard is over in Kickstarter. The you know the I'm on their website right now, looking at the prices. So thirteen forty nine is their price on their website. 
Yeah, the 1100 is, uh, is over. It, you know, it's done. They bought it. They do have the blue cast, the Frozone Shuffle, which is a grand. And they have another Frozone Shuffle, which is the first one they made at 719 pounds. But yeah, the big one's not that big. At least that's not what I'm seeing here. But they make a really good printer. Like, I've actually been really interested in their printers. Um, because they they have some really good technology in them for the price. Yeah, it looks good, but I don't know how, how this will work. Yeah, that's if I, if I don't see it printing, I will not believe it that it can print like that on that huge size. There we go. I'm on filament one. Someone said they sell it on filament one. So yeah, the XL is thirteen hundred dollars. So it's the same price as the uh, in America. It's thirteen hundred dollars. So the same price as ordering it from Prusa. Yeah, it's got the para LED twin. It's it looks really good. Um, but this the printer size is huge. Wow, three hundred ninety by two hundred ninety by four hundred seventy. Print volume is much smaller, 190 by 120, so it's double the size, but way less resolution. <coughs> yeah. But if I were to do it over again, I'd definitely get a Frozone Shuffle instead of the Photon because that thing looks awesome. You know, if, yeah. if people can't buy a, an SL1, Frozone Shuffle all day. It's basically a poor man's SL1. <laughs> Same oh, everything, but. You say the creation man's SL1. Yes. Yeah, I think the quality would be the same too. And it does have a warranty. So a one year warranty, which is nice. I've I've not had great luck with any cubic warranty. Um I uh went through two screens and now my 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 photon doesn't work. The power supply or something's going bad. It was printing and then it stopped and then it never turned back on again. And it's still there. My my resin and everything is still in it, and the resin is changed like the colors at the bottom and the resins at the top in the vat and there's a half a print sitting at the top of the, <laughs> the ma manually moved the bar up to take a look at what's going on so just haven't haven't fixed it since then oh yeah oh, so what are you guys doing what's the next model i don't know man i'm i'm testing some stuff mm. I spent the last few days trying to to figure out uh, female, <laughs> female mini version, and it, it's driving me nuts. I'm I'm getting close to that final look, but it it was so annoying. Like whoever will will try to make some kind of models and make a whole series about it, that person needs to think about male and female version at the beginning. <laughs> when I was doing, I was doing only Hellboy and. Uh, you no, know, I wasn't thinking that I'm gonna make it into some kind of series, and now, like, trying to make female version to look <laughs> like sausage is is, is kind of, <laughs> you know, it doesn't work well. Female sausages. That's an interesting new. Uh... <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm saying to, to what is that he needs to behave, and then I say something uh. like this. <laughs> And and now someone is watching and like, hey, there, there's some kind of idea happening there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So here's some good questions. So someone asked Justin 3D asked if the photon is is not reliable. The photon is very reliable, but there's two main issues with the photon. One is the the build quality can be suspect, um, and the second part has to do with that, and that's the z-axis. The number of people who have z-axis wobble is much higher than I'd want. And it's the one thing that is really hard to fix on there. So you, it's a $500 printer. And for $500, it's fabulous. Like I'm, 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 I'm in the AnyCubit group and I posted, you know, that I got uh, the SL1. And have, I'm telling people like, complaints. yeah, I'm, it's still a good printer. It still works, but it's $500. You have to be very realistic about what you're getting into here. Um, it's a five hundred dollar resin printer, and there's a reason why the Frozone Shuffle is you know seven eight hundred dollars, and you know some of the better ones that you know that are more reliable are in the thousand dollar or even like 
you know, why the form is so expensive. There's a reason for it. Um, and, and it's not because it's a bad printer, just because, you know, there are better printers. Um, but Steven, yeah, the resolution will be noticeable because the layers are so perfect that when you get that higher pixel pitch on the X and Y, you get more jagged curves. So it's almost like you'll see stair stepping and curves versus seeing a nice smooth curve because each pixel um, is bigger. So they can do anti-aliasing, <coughs> which I believe the Photon S, their newest one, has anti-aliasing in it, and that helps. Um, the S01 has anti-aliasing in the X, Y, and Z, so the quality is very similar to like a Moai because it Moais have a dot to make line to make everything like a like a printer you know so making curves is easier pixels are square it's a laser yeah so lasers are always going to be rounder and smoother and you know the, the you're only defined by how tiny that laser point can get you're only defined by how nice your pixels are um this one is again hating all the resin stuff the main the main issue is it's a resin printer <laughs> Yeah, David. David always always says that lay the huge fat layers are better than resin. Get a group, oh. David. And yeah, the photon S to do says you know the it does have a dual Z axis or yeah, dual supported Z axis uh, to as two linear rails. So it's definitely gonna be a lot better. Um, and then someone else said Wexter, you should make a light speed model. Yeah, yeah, I should, but. I have other other stuff that I need to do first. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I have so many re requests. It's 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 kind of sad that I'm not uh, doing this as a main thing because I I could probably earn a lot of money by just doing minis, but I I cannot do that. You guys need to do one day where like all of the famous modelers get together and they all make a model of each other. So everyone, you know, we'll do like a, a draft. So like you got to make a, a Fotis, and Fotis has got to make a uh, <laughs> Eastman, and Eastman's got to make a you know Hellboy. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, so yeah, Vedran is the fat layer lover. Yeah. <laughs> We see you hit the like button anytime that uh, Tom Jackson puts on a print with a 1.2 millimeter nozzle. <laughs> you tell me to behave and you ask for me not to make Hellboy. <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> Yay, it finished. <laughs> one day, one day. Yeah, he, yeah. He will do when it. I, when but there is I, no, no ice in Norway. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Um, by the way, if if people have checked, uh, actually, if you haven't checked uh, my mini factory, there's uh, one really really cool model here that you should definitely check. What is it? Is that oh. Triclops from? That that yeah. was that. <laughs> Who made that? I know some some Greek dude. Uh, it has a euro in it. So, uh, what is you want to present your model? Is he standing on a grape leaf? What? A, where is it? Oh, okay. You know, I have to say this image, this painting, and this print was done from Rob Pausa. <coughs> He's in the comments. No, it's not Tarzan. You made it. You know who who he is. Well, at least he knows this one. He maybe doesn't know the difference between some other characters, but he definitely knows this one now. <laughs> so, guys, this this is official licensed model. Yeah, it's not fan made. It's it's actual product for for them, which is pretty cool. I hope that um, my manufacturer will do more of this stuff. Get licenses for for some cool stuff like like this. Oh, <clears throat> how, how long did you model this? Well, this is the third version. 
this took, uh, you know, this took to, to sculpt around seven, ten days, you know, with seven, ten days straight. I mean, with, you know, six hours, seven hours a day, because I had to follow instructions about the armor, about the, you know, the, the body, the anatomy. It had to be exactly like they wanted. But in the end, it, you know, it was okay. The first one was not so okay because it was a little earlier versions and I didn't know it. So I had to make it again. <laughs> but so, yeah, I think the result was was good. So tell me, like, uh, when I'm modeling stuff, I'm, I'm just grabbing a bunch of references and trying to, to fuse whatever I like. How it's uh, like like this kind of way when you, when you need to do exactly the thing that they ask you how how it's uh, like how much of of your your stuff is actually in that design what do you mean of my stuff <laughs> like could, could you add something like uh, did they pick the pose or you did that uh, this is this is exactly the pose from uh, one of their comic books uh, covers uh i had to make it to to 3d that one and uh i can't do whatever i like on this one it has to be the the same armor the same helmet the same weapon everything and uh it, it's not it's not that easy because there is no good reference images images for to do that i just see the front i see nothing else and then i go to other issues and I, I, I literally uh, read uh, 10 or 15 comic comics to, to see different poses so I can make him like that. So it was, <laughs> it was a lot of work to be done there. You know, he's not Batman. He's not, yeah. He has a lot he's of done. stuff on him. You thought that was Batman because someone told me that it's He-Man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I actually, it, actually I my first one. reaction was, was isn't the guy from He-Man also some kind of man of war? Or, no, man at arms. Of course you did. Well, I didn't know anything about this one. I'm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Now but... I do. Yeah, you do. I'm learning. Yeah, I think that was, it was okay. Ooh, well, Jake, but, but Jake, Rob, Jake, is Rob... saying, Jake is saying that he likes Marvel better than DC. How about, how about you guys? You and another three billion people. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, I, I like them both, to be honest, but not their cinematic universes. What about I, you, Chris? I prefer Toxic Avenger. <laughs> <laughs> He's yeah. My hero. And now, now with the new movie plans. Heck yeah. It's going to make Marvel look silly. <laughs> yeah, <And> sure. <laughs> <laughs> they're too cheap for those 3d effects it's all gonna be practical effects i mean we all know that the ending of the next movie is going to be ant-man going into you know whose butt and expanding and that's just the end <laughs> well we, we, we do know that ant-man is the secret they will go to quantum realm they will go to the past and they will do something else and that's it welcome to Mar yep Everybody dies. Oh, <laughs> oh no, 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 they didn't. <laughs> you know what's going to happen? Batman is going to come and save the day. <laughs> <laughs> or, yeah. uh, or Jared Leto will go and ruin everything. Yeah. Joker is going to be like, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I definitely know that Hellboy is not going to save anything. He cannot even save his new movie, apparently. <laughs> God, I'm just coughing. <laughs> yeah, great so by the way, you, you guys missed it. I moved the print to the curva. Oh, so if you Hello, can hear that, curva. I can hear that. Go closer. <laughs> <laughs> Did I do it right? I mean, I mean, take the mic closer, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's not a stand, it's staying right here. <laughs> We're, we're trying to kill you live if you know if you 
Ant Man you know, can't go into Superman's butt just in 3D because Superman works out. There ain't no room in there. Yeah, also he's <laughs> uptight, so yeah, Deadpool Deadpool is on Disney now officially. <laughs> so yeah. you so you expect when he suits his head the next time you will see flowers going from the other side. He's a Disney princess now. Yep. Exactly. <laughs> Just like Princess Leia. <coughs> oh. For this, are you are you almost done with your thing? I haven't done anything yet. I, I'm waiting to end this stream and do it. I will not sleep tonight. <laughs> so you, you could have modeled something while you were chatting, but okay. Next you, time. Can, you, you could have modeled something as well, but you didn't. Yeah, I just started the face and it looks like crap, so... Yeah, it's more interesting to look at the SL1 or the Curva there. Yeah. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, maybe Elsa from Frozen will save the day. Aladdin, Aladdin grabs three wishes and everything gets back to normal. <laughs> will Smith appears as the genie. <laughs> I wish this guy away. Done. Yeah, when when I've seen that first teaser from Aladdin, I was actually happy. It was like, oh, good old days when I watched the 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 cartoon. Yeah. And, and then they showed the Will Smith, and we were like, damn. What yeah, is that? I, I wish uh, Robin Williams is still alive. <laughs> I wish Danny DeVito got to play. <laughs> 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 but he has to play from his uh, any son, any, any Always Sunny in Philadelphia Frank character the whole time. <laughs> oh, that would be actually cool. It would not, be. Not, not Disney, but may, maybe Netflix can do some, something like that. Cause, 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 uh, have you seen uh, Love Dead Robots? Maybe. It's, I've seen four episodes and it's awesome. Yeah, yeah it's crazy. Chris, you, if you haven't seen that, you, you definitely need to check it it's, out. Especially the first episode. It's really something special and sick. I'm constantly <laughs> che checking can, can I actually model something from that show, but um, I have no inspiration for that. Like I, I've I've prepared a bunch of references for for my future models, and it's like ten different things that I'm trying to figure out how to combine into one, so I can have um, Gambit combined with Wolverine and and Spawn and Violator and uh, and Lobo, and uh, why do I have Optimus Prime here? <laughs> Because it's a transformer. Oh, okay. <laughs> the arguing cousins from Europe. <laughs> uh, Chris, Chris, how how should I pronounce your last name? Uh, Vorkotsky. Vorkotsky. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking of Vorkotsky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyone from anywhere that's Slavic should be able to say. It. <laughs> and then if you're American, you say it exactly how it's spelled. So it's it's very wonderful. Yeah, I mean, pe people are changing, adapting names and and last names, so I I need to to check everything. Today I I was chatting with uh with someone from from Poland, who is in in Canada. Yeah. So I learned some some new stuff from there. Ooh. Uh, how to pronounce some some names, which, uh -oh. which is cool. <laughs> Kurva. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dude, don't be like that. They want more Game of Thrones content. I, I will, I will honestly, honestly try. Yeah, do. I want, I want to make the Hound. Okay, come I'm on. Trying, you, you need I'm to do the best character. What? The best. Who? You need to do the best character in, in Game of Thrones, Podrick. Podrick? No, yeah. man, we, we will not have enough material to print with, that. With his magical sword. <laughs> yeah. How magical is it? Yep. Well. <laughs> P PLA will not be enough. <laughs> no. Asbestos. <laughs> 
So, since, uh, you know, Morgan, I don't think he will die in the Dungeons and Dragons because... Yeah, he's definitely... I don't know, I don't know where he is. I don't know if anyone saw my t-shirt here. You know, no. Never saw it. Is that a piece of paper taped to your shirt? Yes, it's uh, the, the morning newspaper, man. So, <laughs> this is Bring It Obsessions Kickstarter that's in preview right now. And it will launch on April 4. So let me give you a link and have a look because, you know, he made amazing things. Yeah, he, he was in in one of our streams and he showed a bunch of cool stuff. So you should definitely check his Kickstarter event. And yeah, take, a look at, take a look at the list of how many models he has there. <laughs> and he made them in two months. Five. <laughs> so just in 3d how long does it take to cure um it dries for f six minutes and cures for five minutes and it's already doing all that i already took it out of the tank and put it in there to dry and cure so now i'm starting another print i won't tell anybody what it is <laughs> how did we miss the whole thing like I... it's that fast like the, the it's just yeah, the coolest thing though was when this thing comes down, it actually will touch the resin and go. You've only got this much resin in there. Are you sure you want to print? You know, because it has it'll tell you how much it, it thinks it needs. You know, make sure it's forty or fifty or sixty percent full for this print. And it'll actually touch the resin and tell you if there's too much or too little. Or and it's actually told me how much I have left in it and said that it was sixty five percent resin left in. It really has a sensor to tell you if resin is enough. Yes. Oh, this is this is very cool. <laughs> This is the best feature you you told me already. <laughs> yeah, it won't start unless you have the right amount of resin in there for the print. That's cool. So, and don't put too much in because I did that one time and it's like you have more than hundred percent. I can't print, so you take some out. I'm like, gosh, dang it! Like I just filled it up a little bit too much, which is fine. Yeah, that that's definitely great. Like yeah, every yeah. time I, I pour something in the photo and then it starts going down, I can see like. Resin is going up like shit. It's gonna go over for like, <laughs> no, what? Like, <laughs> oh, it's on my screen. It's on my screen. <laughs> oh man, <laughs> that would be the worst day ever for someone. Like, oh, it's got my new printer in, and oh my god, it's boring everywhere. <laughs> I thought I was supposed to pull it to the top. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. You said for the the plug and oh, no, stop, stop. <laughs> yeah. Where's the link for this? Yeah, I already did. I already put the link up there. No, you didn't. No. I... Yes, I did. I Wait, can where? see it. Oh do it God, again. Can... Oh, do it again. Shit. Make it better. Oh, they want to drive me crazy. Don't be an Eastman. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> uh, it's, it's 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 probably hidden. How how can I? It's hidden because uh, you hide links. You you want me to pay you to show a link, maybe? Just just send me on. on okay, I will, I will go. I will go to my manufacturer. And give you a two dollar tip. Okay, is that <laughs> is that cool? The uh, the happy extruder. The go to product is definitely ninety five or higher isopropyl alcohol. Or if you really want to spend some money and get the best stuff, it's the Monicure resin away. That stuff is awesome. Used resin, you stick it in a clear bin and leave it outside for a couple days, let it harden. It'll, it'll turn into a gel, and then you can you can sift out. Uh, you'd run it through a coffee strainer and get the isopropyl out, and whatever's left, you would hazmat that. Um, what I did with the curing station is I'm trying to find a time. Um, I put it in a beaker, and I put it in there for like 30 minutes, and I let it cure for 30 minutes, and I was able to sift out the resin out of the isopropyl and reuse the isopropyl alcohol. So... Yeah, I, ha I have to say this. Vedran DM'd me and told me, gimme. He actually wants money from Italy. <laughs> Dude, I was asking for a link, dick. That, that link sent me to a golf course. Yeah, definitely don't pour your resin down you the can, toilet because then you have can. a big clog. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, manage moderators. I, I need to add you. Some kind of moderator. 
Yeah, the, uh, the easiest way is if you see somebody, you can click on their name, and then like the three dots pop up, and then you can go make a moderator. Just write anything normal without links, what is so I can click on you. <laughs> Bet. <laughs> I wish this fancy screen was also on the, the curing and washing station. Because <laughs> then I can read it from here. It's just the same screen that's on a Mark III. Can't read it at an angle. Sad. <sighs> oh, no, starting to run again. Jesus, what is just send me the link? What's the problem? He's deciding on which link to send you. Yeah, probably Pornhub or something. He's hiding like he's on chatterbait like, right now. Well, he's lying because, but he did he did uh, type me, give me. That was truth. Yes, yeah. it's true. But give me the link to it. <laughs> no, I will not. <laughs> I know you want. I know you want money. Oh. Thank you. PayPal link coming soon. Ah. <laughs> uh. There you go. So he's sharing his chatterbait link now. Perfect. You you made it. Is it visible? Yes, it is. All right, there it is. Um, uh, they're each separate. I don't know how much the curing and washing station costs. I haven't. Uh, it's it's around seven hundred dollars. Yeah, second. something like that. Easy your checkbook a out. A lot of money. Like yeah. You know, like you look at, at that price and it's like, well, I can get another MK 3S and then still wash my thing in the jar in front of the balcony so <laughs> people can see me. Well, uh, one of the moderators in our Facebook group was, he's like, look, I'm designing my own stirring machine that will stir the liquids. Um, and uh, hold on one second. Well, I have some problems with connection. I actually thought that was a knife. Oh yeah, it was a knife. <laughs> <laughs> and he uh, he was showing me his design and he was testing it. And I sent him a link for a twenty dollar uh, medical stir that you drop the little pill into and it just spins the pill and makes the vortex. And I was like, there you go. I was like, well, that's no fun. <laughs> Because you could make one, like you just get one of these pans, get the medical stir, throw the pill in there, and then you know get the cage, and then you make your own for forty dollars all day. <laughs> for those amounts, I can hire temps to wash the prints. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. Yeah. laughs> uh, Ron. <laughs> uh, oh, we got filament frenzy, and Tom's here. See, Vedder, you can like his fat layers now. Well, I I like his layers. I like his bald head now. I like everything. Why well, is everyone gonna have a bald head now? Dude, you, you need to pay attention <laughs> to what is happening. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm I'm still not sure, hundred percent sure that he actually shaved his his hair. I checked it in in Photoshop yesterday. It looks really real. Yeah, and I have a gray one. It's so pretty. It's got tiny spikes. I'll set that down on the table. Now it's dry and cured. All done. Look at that. 30 minutes or less. <laughs> I'm not, I'm actually not bald, so it's though it's fake. You have fake yeah. you have a fake bald head? <laughs> <laughs> Kurva, kurva is great. <laughs> kurva is the greatest. <laughs> Stop saying kurva here. Come on. <laughs> kurva match. Kurva. <laughs> Kurva. Kurva. Cure. It's cure with a wa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got to tell Joseph to say that wet during Nerf. We've got the cur with the wa in it. <laughs> Seven hundred dollars, unless you don't want the wah. <laughs> yeah, I don't need one. <laughs> I like my little, you know, containers, you know, from my uh, from my wife. Uh, do you want? Do you have anything to spare so I can put alcohol inside? Oh yeah, sure, take this one. <laughs> <laughs> Just hands you a bottle of 
drunk vodka. Or no, you're from Greece, Sambuca. No, no, no. no. I, I, Uzo is for us. Uzo, Sambuca, that's right. Sambuca Italian. is for Italians. But, that's you know, right. it, there's a bowl with chicken wings and uh, you throw the chicken wings and you take and put alcohol inside and that's it. Uh, oh, Kentucky good. Fried Chicken? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the best container for alcohol, you know. Used KFC containers, I'm learning. Yeah, it gets the job done. You don't need that curva thing. <laughs> uh, I'm dying. Slowly. Slowly but surely. I'm so, so slow today. More than usual. We're uh, all tired, man. Dude, those inlines, and I, and I have to repeat it again tomorrow. My my kid is excited about inline skates, and it, it's gonna be terrible. I didn't realize they put a butt on Joseph's model. There's a butt back here. Does he have a hole? I don't know, but there's definitely a butt shape back here. Like I thought it was oh. just legs coming out of a shirt, but they actually put buns. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, but we have to pause because David Eastman is going to sleep. So everybody, oh. you know, we have to take a moment and, you know. And, and be quiet. Res yeah. res yes, respect that. He goes to sleep. We have to be silent. <laughs> he can hear us in Norway because, you know, he's Eastman. From Sweden. And also he hopes your resin-induced death plague gets better, Chris. Thank you. Always so ni nice words from him. Yeah. Good night, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and do that, Hellboy. Nah. Yeah, you know, we, we can't even show his new model here. Yeah. David. Yeah, he doesn't want to do that. Too bad. <laughs> yeah. His loss. It's more logical to for you, veteran, to have an SL1 than David make a Hellboy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you didn't get one. Sorry. I'm sorry. Let's not use my name and SL1 in the same sentence. Veteran SL1. I'm going to go into the wild and cry. <laughs> oh, come on. You don't, it's not that good. Tell him, Chris. It's not that good. <laughs> yeah, it looks terrible. And, yeah. and heavy. I, I cannot... I mean, look at that monitor, man. Look at, look at that screen. It's Photon is so much better. Yeah, know. this looks like an iPhone screen. It's meh. <laughs> Yeah, and we hate Apple, you know? So... <laughs> <laughs> so it's better to have a Photon. You know, that, tilt, that tilting system, you know, the system that the, the resin... Don't go off and make a mess. Uh, that's that's not a cool thing. The curva is, you know, it's just the curva. <laughs> so why, so why don't bother? Stop showing that monkey face. Ooh, I I need to remove my resin from a printer. Last time I I forgot for like ten days oh. and I got the whole block just popping out. So oh, did you get yours with the blue light shield? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I ordered the replacement yellow ones. So mine is yellow now. So I can. I, my resin from like through to, to a month and a half ago is still in there. So. But I like the blue better. <laughs> you would. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But you would. <laughs> My Dave. favorite song when I was a kid was I'm Blue. Never did about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one. Make your own, yeah. the photodron. <laughs> yeah. The photodron. I, I really didn't want to, to use re resin printers for for a while until I started airbrushing stuff. So so now I, I'm really into don't photon don't. again because I don't like to send my fdm printer prints you need to start using um i think it's asa that's so sustainable tom what's my favorite bit about the sl1 that it works every single time 
Except those first three times. <laughs> yeah, except for those first three times, that was my fault. Not the printer's fault. Um, it's definitely much more reliable than uh, Look, anything I've ever beta tested in my life. I, I had so many problems with uh, MK3, with MK3S, with MMU2. And every time I went on live chats uh, on Prusa website, and uh, during those conversations, like I've I always wrote everything like I have problem with this. I've tried this and that and all of that. And then they ask me the same questions like, have you tried this? Have you tried that? And I'm like, just look up, look up. And I'm getting annoyed by all of those conversations every single time. Whenever I wrote the whole thing, they just ignore that. They ask me the same questions that I've already gave answer to. And during those conversations, I, I'm getting angrier and angrier, but I'm still writing politely. And then I figure out that I didn't plug everything properly. I picked the wrong printer in, in Slicer, so it's detecting the the, the filament that should uh, like uh, do on uh, uh, MMU, but I, I did it with MK3S, and it's, it's completely detecting wrong things, so it's not printing, it's ejecting filament. And then <laughs> I spent another half an hour just writing that nothing is working on, the, on that printer because I cannot say that it, it was my fault. So <laughs> <laughs> maybe that's why they don't send you anything to test. <laughs> that's that's because you haven't spoke with Forblubs live chat. <laughs> Is because it really I spoke. You know, I, I have a Form One Plus, and they don't uh, sell build platforms anymore. They're uh, resin tanks. It's not supported anymore. You gave. I didn't give that much. I take a used one, but you gave four years ago 4,000 uh, euros to buy a printer, and now uh, you have to just throw it in the trash. <laughs> yeah, because, uh, yeah, you, I spoke to LiveChat and I said, I want a resin tank and a bit platform, but you don't have it for sale. Uh, talk to our support. Yeah, but I don't want support. I just want to buy a resin tank and a build platform. Uh, uh, contact with our support. Okay. Uh, do you have a resin tank and a build platform? Uh, no, the support is uh, has stopped from Form One Plus. So, and I write and I type because I'm like that. So I will just paint it blue and throw it in the ocean. <laughs> yeah, man, it's so, it's so stupid. I, I have a printer that works. Why can't I have a build platform? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you just have to find someone else who has extra build platforms, you know. Or you, or you can buy that Chinese crap, uh, you know, clones, uh, build platforms or resin tanks, and it will fail every time. <laughs> well, next time, don't break the damn printer. Yeah. I didn't break the damn printer. I know. I, you I, ha I, have to, I have to change them. Come on, oh, you couldn't right. even assemble Trusa without breaking it. You know, you know, I built it with the first try. Yeah, but like, you break one piece. And I print it again in carbon. <laughs> yes, which is much, much better now. Yeah, of course. It's I break it on. Pink. Yeah, I broke <laughs> it on purpose. You know, so, so, somebody else didn't actually manage to assemble his MK3. You know who I'm talking about. We're not gonna talk about <laughs> <laughs> no, I will. the guy who who just went to bed <laughs> has assembled it <laughs> five times. <laughs> yeah, David got the the Phantom version. Doesn't work great. It, yeah. it's, it's it doesn't do the justice to his beautiful models. <laughs> But it will eventually. But when he when, when he tries to get in the house, now his door cap cap on print cubes, <laughs> on, on test cubes because all the house is full of test cubes now. <laughs> you know, he just go to the bathroom and brrr, test cubes on on his head like that. He he was actually doing uh, like live stream on Twitch so he can <laughs> follow his test cubes. <laughs> Uh. Oh, this was great. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had that stored somewhere.
All right, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to go take a nap again. <laughs> well, come yeah. on. You, did, you didn't die yet. I know, but if I did, I don't want him to get a Logan Paul strike on his channel. <laughs> <laughs> have I I'm, tried Chris's model in Simplified 3D? Uh, no, I don't have Simplified 3D, and I don't like Simplified 3D. Uh, I had a lot of issues with... With simplified 3D, and I didn't have any issues with Slicer or or Cura on on any of my models. I can't believe I can't believe my ears, man. <laughs> um, like few few times actually, people contacted me and they said that, that they had problems with my models, and every time, 100% cases, it was simplified 3D. Uh, yes. <laughs> It was probably my fault, but other slicers do, does slicing better than that one. Um, so, I, have you tried? No, you're not using Simplified 3D, right? Um, I, I have it. I haven't tried it in it, though. He messaged me on the Patreon. I've just been, like, sleeping all day until you messaged me. Um <laughs> We we can we can try to to throw it into Netfab Mitch, online. Mitch, Mitch. Oh yeah, Netfab. I forgot about yeah, that thing. Then that will probably solve the issue. We, I don't know what what actually could be the problem there, but like I've printed all of my models. Uh, I mean, lately I was doing only with Slicer, so everything was good. But I'm trying to check. Uh, also models in, in Cura and throw them in NetFab, but I remember that the one that I did for Chris was done in like an hour while we were chatting in the morning while I was drinking coffee. So <laughs> mistake could, could have happened. They're just missing layers everywhere and Slicer's like, ah, that's fine. <laughs> but I, I mean, a okay. bunch of other people have printed that model, so... Is it possible that they are all using Slicer instead of Simplified 3D? Yeah, it's mostly the face, the you know the the Prusa users on Facebook. So, <laughs> okay, I need like, to go. I I shouldn't shouldn't be like like that, but I really don't support what Simplified 3D did lately. So <laughs> sometimes I'm kind of glad that something doesn't work on that software. <laughs> Oh, all right. Yeah. You guys it's, have fun. It's, it's I'm gonna go hide. I'm gonna go take a nap. <laughs> you guys keep keep yeah. going. Uh, th thank you for for joining this stream and telling us Anytime. all the stuff about S1. And get, and, get well. Uh, and get well yeah. I, I need to. Murph is in a week. <laughs> so and if you want to get well, stay you know a little further than resin if you can. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep yeah, that exactly. Mind. He's a goner. Look at him. <laughs> yeah, I know. All right. Good night, everybody. Good night, man. Bye. Good night, man. Uh, that's me and you. Yeah, we didn't kill him. Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, it, it was a really fun stream. Uh, I didn't model anything. Yeah, Next I was time. curious to see the. I was curious to see the SL1, and you know, I, I was expecting less. To be well, honest, I don't know. I uh, I am kind of a Prusa fan. I I'm mostly doing stuff with MK3 and MK3S, and and I really like those printers. So you know, I, I'm I was expecting that they did something cool with with this thing, but. Also, at the same time, I was skeptical. You know, every every print that I've seen, I was all, all like looking for perfections and you know, all of that stuff. See what did what they did with it. But I have a feeling it's a pretty good one. Well, from what I've seen to from Chris, I I would probably buy one. Uh, the only thing I'm not, you know, it holds me back is the build the build size, but Okay. The only thing, all the other stuff are, you know, very cool. The monitor, the you know, the the whole tech that showed us was very nice. The curva was nice as well. <laughs> yeah, 
that that's the definitely thing I I would like to use. Uh, SL1, yes, probably it could it could perfectly fit right here on on my shelf. I have some room. Or, or another room that you will not smell resin all day. Well, uh, usually usually I put something like that to print while I'm not here. So it's overnight and during the day while I'm I'm uh, at work. So yeah, I, still uh, all of this uh, stays open and you know when I come back home everything is fine. You know, a year ago I was printing a lot a lot in the house with resin and you know after a while it got the smell. You know. Yeah, me too. But uh, I was doing that during the summer, and when when it got cold, it went to my neighbor's place. I got my first Prusa printer, so I just started <laughs> printing like that. And I was waiting for a nice weather so I can start printing again with Photon. Yeah, I don't have I don't have enough space to to keep it somewhere else, unfortunately. You will buy something. I'm not afraid. You're rich. <laughs> You're from Croatia. Yeah, <laughs> land of of rich people, and <laughs> you know, you just, who... you just take, you know. Oh, you, you, just... you know who who has Croatian roots? Yuri. Who? Oh. Yuri Pranic. The... Yeah, he made some amazing things. And and he got married today. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, didn't you warn him? No, huh? What? You didn't warn him. You, you can still make it. Don't do it. <laughs> no. Well, no. He, he has a child with, with his wife, so it wouldn't be smart to run away. Yeah, still, 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 you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, like every time when when people were warning me about the marriage, Though those were the people that got married, and I always said, like, well, why wouldn't I do the same mistake like you guys did? It's always the same. It's a normal <laughs> thing. Yeah, it's the wedding day, you know. Your friends come next to you. You can still make it. <laughs> there's still there's still time. <laughs> Ooh, I, I I had like one of those weird weddings. It it was nice. It it wasn't typical for you know Croatian weddings. We don't have uh, weddings that are starting at noon because I really wanted to get rid of the whole ceremony and just, you know, jump into some kind of meal and then make a pause and then have another meal and then pause and, you know, just yeah. get fed because you're married now. <laughs> I, I did a huge party, by the way. I didn't do anything traditional as well. We all got wasted. Some of them went to hospital, you know, no, stuff like you, that. You <laughs> normal. Yeah, usual stuff. Yeah, Sun Saturday night <laughs> fever. <laughs> so, what you will sculpt today? Your fa your fans want to see you sculpt. Well, no, nothing today. Definitely nothing today. Uh, I I couldn't focus. I really wanted to model something, but eh. It's not a day, and and I don't want to force it. Last time, Fatman happened, but that was like <laughs> something. <It's> a, <laughs> I don't know. It's the day to day. I'm not, you know, I'm really tired as well. And after after we finish this, I have to make something as well <laughs> and go to sleep. It's one. Oh my god! It's one ten here. It's yeah. one a.m. Okay, so I have to make something to have. To have it ready by the morning and at 7 a.m. I will go to the day job. Yeah, it sucks to be you. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Mario. Ron, I have to make Ron as well. I forget to make, I forgot to make Ron because we need Ron for scale. Yeah, Ron is yeah. a ru ruler. Yeah, you will see Ron then his model on and then another run uh, oh it would be so cool to see <laughs> yeah run needs to happen definitely <laughs> so dart vader dart vader yeah you're making that noise again 
Uh, with okay. Your, with your smoky flute. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Maybe. has a question for you. My treasure chest. What treasure chest? Uh, I guess he means um, what it's called mimic. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. I made that one. In... It was a quick one, but it came out really nice. It's still slow. People don't like it. <laughs> it has some sales so far, but not so good as my old bear. Ooh. Mario is mentioning his shelf. I need to find that to show you. Wait, 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 wait. Check this out. <laughs> It's pretty cool. <laughs> How many are they? Not enough. <laughs> Did you count it? 31. 31 dicks. <laughs> I, I don't even know the number. How, how many of those I made? Oh, Chris, you want to print it? I'm glad. You, you you will use resin or FDM? Uh, you printed that one on, on Photon, right? Yes, it's very small. It's you know it's twenty five oh, millimeters. We're not going to go into that details. I'm not talking about your mini dicks. I'm talking about my chest. <laughs> oh FDM. Oh, yeah, I would love to see you print Manowar. I'm very proud of Manowar. It's one of my best, it, not my best, it's one of I'm the most proud of. What are the other ones? I, I know the, the rate. Yeah, the rate. I, li what? I like, I like the Monkey Islands more. Yeah, me too. I have those printed. On the shelf, I love the sack. Yeah, I, I printed it two times actually, and for no reason. And hold on, the most accurate is Magneto. I love I love Magneto. Can I print for me if I make sure or not? What? <laughs> yeah, uh, I got some samples. Uh, Actually, when, when I was printing the mini Chris first time, my sample wasn't enough, so he didn't have the top of, of his head at all. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I don't know where it is. Oh, come on. You wasted all of them. Yeah, I really have space issue here. I need to I need to print stuff smaller. See you later, Don. Oh, you have to go to work. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Time to work. Oh man. Luckily I don't have to work tonight on anything. <laughs> Tomorrow can I, can I print the minis or what I play? <laughs> Tomorrow I'm gonna finally do the paint job on this thing. This one, uh, this one came. Out. What layer height did you use? The, this one. Uh, it was one point five. Zero one five. Yeah, it came out flawless. This one. Yeah, it looks really. Uh, it's hard to to see, but it's really, really nice. Yeah, and I did one smaller one on Photon just in case. I, I got some new stuff today that I need to test. 
and this is actually the first time that I printed something 100%, I think, usually I print everything a little bit smaller because I'm impatient. Unlike, yeah. unlike <laughs> Tom Jackson, he needs to print everything big, bigger, bigger, bigger. <laughs> I like that. Oh, Rob is here. Rob, I, th I thought you fell asleep, man. With that burger on your belly, watching TV. <laughs> Rob, do you want it? Rob is the best painter in here. Yes, definitely. And 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 his latest, last video that he did. Yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> oh yeah, he's doing good paint job. He's doing good photography, cinematography. You have to, you know, you have to work together, veteran. <laughs> it looks like. No man, he's crazy. He's crazy talented. I cannot work anything with that person. <laughs> he makes yeah. everything, everything great. Like I, I do video for for life, you know, for for a living, and I do animations. I do all of that. And then I completely discard that when I'm doing YouTube videos because you know I like to to do it like fast and. Uh, I don't want it to, to feel like work. And then I look what whatever Rob is doing and he's he's doing like crazy additional animation sound effects that are funny and cool at the same time. You, you, you if you haven't checked any of his videos, please do that. Especially the, the one with Raptor. That that's my favorite one. Yeah, that's your thing. You get one thing done in one year, but we will change that, you know? You know, we said that. You know, he made he made Magneto for fun, and then I asked, I asked for manual. I I really asked for it. I say you have you have to do that. Nobody else. Well, uh, after after that Joker thing he did. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like like uh, I really like his his style. Now we're gonna talk about Rob. Like the only problem is that he's he's older than us. He's older than Eastman. Yeah, but but we don't say that during our streams. We always lie that it's the other way around. Oh, he's two hundred forty-seven. Eastman is two hundred and thirty-six. So yeah. And I said go. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, I, I don't know how how can you have so much patience? Like, yeah, I, me too. I I I watched his videos a few times, like each of of his videos, and like, damn, how I, I'm so impatient! I cannot compete with that, like ever. And this was nothing. If you see the Velociraptor video, <laughs> it's that big. Yeah, it's that big. There were so crazy. many parts printed, and then he, the paint job was, it looks like a real Velociraptor. I never seen one up close, but that's how it should look. What's on my Prusa? Nothing. Just lights. Yeah, it's Christmas in Croatia, you know? Well, those, those are the lights <laughs> that I'm using when I'm, uh, when I'm doing some kind of time lapse. You know, like I did yours for the the Arthur. This one. Oh wait, I can't see it. Try again. <laughs> well, this one. This is you know that that's what I like to the for them K three. Here is the PC, and here is the printer. It's so small, <laughs> I can put it next to me. That's the best thing because I have that that giant things back there that weigh you know 40 kilo seats i can't put them here and that was the more fun thing with the prusa i can take it from here put it there yeah i like that about that they are small like compared to cr10 i i i don't have space to fit it anywhere i i i, I pick that one and just Throw it in in the other office. <laughs> I don't know if I would get this CR10 for any reason. Well, 
CR10 was great for me at the beginning, but later I had a lot of problems and I couldn't fix it. I was changing parts and now it's like Frankenstein's thing. And everything happened when when uh, my cable started like <laughs> smoking. Yeah, it started to fry. Yeah, the, the heat bed connection was, was off and everything was burnt. It was, uh, I didn't like that. Like I didn't had any problems with Prusa so far. Uh, okay. and, and I feel well, confident that nothing will, will happen. Like they are printing nonstop except now and everything is fine. But, uh, and I'm yeah. not even monitoring them on camera. I leave them during the sleep. No problem. They are quiet, but CR 10, no. Yeah, that's, that's the more important to me to, if to put, to press print and go downstairs and don't care. That's the most important. That's why I love my, you know, how, how, what's the name? What was the name? Sorry. Of the printer, you know, the one with the lovely name you like to say. What lovely name? <laughs> Sorry, I was reading comments. And my I printer, completely... man, my, no, not Prusa, the other printer I have. You can't, you can't say the name ever. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> it's, it's Zimorph. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how many names I've, I've said yeah. <laughs> wrong. Um, yeah, yeah, I haven't checked that video for time lapses, uh, but that was the the thing. If if I'm not mistaken, that was the thing that uh, Miklos first time suggested to me uh, how how I can I can do the time lapse. But then I just grabbed the 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 G code uh, uh, commands and I pasted and and I did that thing that I'm using with with the cable and you know well, the the thing I've posted. Jesus, I'm I'm <laughs> I cannot connect sentences anymore. Now, well, like in in ten minutes, I will just start start drooling and looking at camera. Oh come on, you're not tired. Stop it. Yeah, Chris, if you have a better way to time lapse, stick to that one because I can't time lapse at all because I never looked at it. When I need a time lapse, I just say to veteran, "Do me a time lapse." <laughs> so Mar it. Mario is having problems with his Prusa, uh, and uh, well, it can be a lot of stuff. I don't know what what have you tried, but uh, Mario has moved from one cold country to another one, which is really warm, and who knows what happened in between. You should probably. Uh, check all the screws and everything first because all that stuff gets loose. Uh, Grumpy, you, lo you lost the best things. Vedran was dancing naked, but you missed it because you you were yeah. away. Shirtless. I'm sorry, man. You just lost it. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> so sorry. Chris died too, but we have to dump the body. Catwalk. <laughs> From Milwaukee to Austin. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't know what, what have you tried? Have, have you posted uh, anything into that Prusa Facebook page? Usually people help there a lot. What? I'm talking to Mario, not you. You're not talking to me. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not trying to be rude. I'm, I I am rude. Wait, you, you did something to your hair? Yeah, I was wearing headphones and now it's squashed. That's what I did to my hair. Oh, yeah. 
You're not wearing makeup. Yeah, my wife has them tonight. Mm. <laughs> so what what shall we model next time? <laughs> Since this time it didn't go well. You know, I wanted to I wanted to make Jim. Yeah, yeah it, it, there's not much to be done with Jim. I just have to make the body and detail the body a bit, but I'm thinking about that one. Or else, if I make this one before we do the stream, I will think of, I will think of something else. Uh, how are you gonna do the body? Are you gonna just sculpt everything from from scratch? Use uh, Z spheres? What are you doing? How how? What kind of progress do you have? I will probably go for a bust. I don't know if I will make a full one. Uh -huh. I I'm not sure yet, but you know, I'm bored to make a full one. <laughs> I will try, you know, to make the to make it not look cartoony. That's why I want to make it a bust. If I make it a full figure, it will look like the character from the from the game. If I make a bust, I can make it more wrinkly, and you know, it will look a little more realistic, like a worm. What? Yeah, and yeah, I need to. I don't know what what what, what should you, model what you first. Would make. I don't know. I'm checking the this killer killer croc. I was I was checking when you suggested the uh, for this and I have talked about what could I model tonight. But he suggested killer croc and I was looking at that model, but I'm not sure I, I'm there yet that I could do something like that. Why? So what, what I really wanted to make was uh, the violator, uh, but that one is really tricky because he has that long uh, button, long jaw, and I, I don't even know how could I print something like that. Also, I I really wanted to make a spawn. The wait, let me switch something. So I have a bunch of references. Like for other stuff, like for example, I wanted to to do gambit because I really wanted to see how how I could make beard and you know so it's printable. Uh, oh. Violator is it's a pretty cool model, um, but it's also really tricky to to print. Like I said. It would need to have a lot of support, and I'm always trying to to keep it clean as much as possible because I'm not having a so one to print it. Uh, then I was I was thinking about just modeling this head. This is really cool, and it would pull me out of my comfort zone. Um, I was looking uh -huh. at Wolverine just for for his angry face. I'm not sure I would do Wolverine at this moment, at this point. But I like Lobo. He's such a great character. Um, I wanted to to make this kind of face. So, like. Uh, when I was doing the the clown, I was uh, constantly thinking how he's he's kind of similar to to my Joker because of the smile. It was just the smile. I mean, mostly it was just the smile, but I could see like few similarities, and I didn't like that. I I want to experiment with something else, and like him biting his his uh, lip. Kind of looks like something. Yeah, different. cool. And uh, and I've even found that they have made uh, one version of the figurine like that. Look, look at it. It's mm -hmm. pretty, pretty badass. So maybe I will go in that direction. Uh, also, I'm like I said, I'm trying to. 
to finish the the the, the, the female mini thing <laughs> and that's that's finally going in some direction <laughs> yeah it, i was really annoyed by uh the whole thing because uh the the whole modeling thing is very limited in in fusion and uh also when, whenever i posted an image uh, people don't 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 have the ability to rotate it so uh, you know they are just judging based on one one side and like you know immediately we're saying that there are no boobs but but uh, i did some small curve because if i did if i do a bigger one and it just looks like she has a weird chin big chin so that was the the problem that i tried to solve and uh, i got a lot of suggestions feedback from from other community members which which was really cool because um uh, like i was i was explaining why i'm not doing some stuff that they suggested mostly because this is an ongoing thing for me and i did so many tries but also what kind of sound are you making something weird happened on your side um but uh, whenever i tweak model a little bit something bad just happens with with the fusion also and this is like one of the latest versions where even the eyes are slightly different and uh now i have another feedback from from one community member and it's great because it's actual female so she can tell me her side and her view about all of this she she suggested some kind of different shape that i'm going to try to explore maybe slightly different mouth but now i'm i'm actually liking this shape it it has it's not visible here but it has some different curve and it has some smallish curve here but it's it's much easier to see in, in this one color version but this is just a pure template uh, like this hair is is something that i did like six months ago in, in sculptures and i just throw it so she has some kind of hair on top yeah the lips the lips help the eyes help as well it looks more feminine if you make bigger lips or something yeah and I, llama if he makes uh, what you suggest you will uh, laugh we've seen it before it's you know <laughs> it's ridiculous <laughs> it's not looking yeah. good at all no uh, like i i'm fighting against those kind of stuff uh, there, there was a reason why when i was doing uh, any kind of superhero i didn't add abs i didn't do additional stuff because characters like that don't don't need it uh i, I was looking of uh, uh, other stuff other inspiration and there are a bunch of female characters that they didn't even model any kind of boobs they they did like uh triangle shape for for females and and it works fine they didn't even do um like different lips they they did them almost the same shape they they only changed uh, eyes like eyes are always one of those things that they are completely different between male and female they they do some kind of eyelashes and i actually had one version here but i didn't like it i'm i'm gonna still experiment on that there's a lot of uh things that people have suggested and i had to say say no because i'm trying to keep this thing as much as possible and close to to the original shape so i didn't put any kind of uh, uh neck in that character so this one will not have it also uh also uh, i've tried it and it, it just looks weird also you the male looks like a dick and the female looks like a lipstick so it's cool well it can work <laughs> it can work <laughs> yeah yeah Ooh, batman <laughs> it's 
so ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's one of those things when, I mean, it, it was my first model in 2019 version of ZBrush. I had to go through it. Like, you you cannot allow that your first model made in in new <laughs> version goes bad. Like, you need With to. And there, there are a lot of prints actually online, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Even Chris <laughs> one. I still have a print one. So I have to print one as well. I want to have it here and watch it because <laughs> it's so cool. <laughs> like the the best part for me is is his chin. You know, he has that Greek hole like Hercules had in in, in this in cartoon. <laughs> <laughs> and this drawing that that's totally me. When I see food, this is what happens. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm not even showing that the image. Okay, it doesn't matter. Yeah, this is what happens, exactly. <laughs> what we see now. Oh, man, I like food. <laughs> so, yeah, there, there's lots of plans. Like, I really want to do a lot of stuff. And um, I, I was thinking about, some, someone asked, yeah, Printing Llama. Um, Mini figurines are made in Infusion, and um, I wanted to to switch that to to ZBrush uh, because I can uh, definitely do some details much faster. With uh, with Fusion, I can quickly change some kind of shape, and it's gonna adapt. and And th that's a really powerful feature in Fusion. But also, in a lot of cases, uh, Fusion is very limited. I cannot like most of the time, uh, I spend trying to fix some kind of error, and uh, and that's that's not a good approach. Um, but Ron, Ron, I have to you know I have to say I have to tell you that I still haven't made a single folder. I, I made not, I made, not I made one. one. I made one not during the, the live stream, and uh, I did folders. Uh, one other time to see how that thing works, and I immediately ditched that because I couldn't use live live boolean on stuff that's inside the folder. And imagine and imagine that I made a model with 65 sub tools four days ago, and I still haven't made one folder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we we we're used to it without folders, so. They will probably to the next update remove it again. <laughs> there is no way. There's no reason for it anymore. I don't know. Too bad uh, David is not here. He's he was using that other plugin that organized everything better. I would like to to hear his opinion. Which one is better? Who who did it better? <laughs> well, 3D printing llama is going to make a dinner have fun don't burn your hands i'm so i have to show you what i want to make one day one day yeah really if i manage to switch this <sighs> You're sleeping. You're not gonna make it. Yeah. Okay. Like also, I'm constantly trying to um, to level the amount of DC and Marvel characters, and it just doesn't work for me. All the characters that I want to model are actually DC. I I just think they they have much better design on most of the characters. This is the one I want to make. Here. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. This can kick this can kick Thanos ass in, you know, and destroy him in a second. <laughs> This is the Celestials from Marvel. We never seen them in Marvel, but look how cool is this one. 
yeah, it looks really nice. A lot of details. Yeah, he looks so cool. He's very, very strong. Yeah, that, that's also one of the things. Like every time I want to 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 model something, I look. I immediately am trying to see how how it's gonna look printed. You know, what can I actually do? How how deep should be some kind of you know uh, details inside so so it's gonna get printed? Does it have enough details for that? Like last time when I was doing a Catwoman, at one point I was I was pretty pissed because I picked a character that doesn't have a lot of details. And, you know, it, it, it's a, basically <laughs> like some kind of what it's spandex. <laughs> you know, sometimes that's that's not bad because you have you will make the face better. You will give more time to the face. You will try to do likeness. That's that's. Something like my Captain, um, yeah, my who was it? My Captain Marvel. The you know the 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 uniform was easy. It has a star here. It has some lines, and then you go straight to the face and the hair, and you oh. give more time there. Speaking of Captain Marvel, I want to do the original Captain Marvel. The the Shazam. <laughs> <laughs> did, did, did you know that? The Shazam that... was the original Captain Marvel. Yes. Uh, I had no idea. Yeah, it, it was. It was. Uh, it was some other uh, publisher was was making Captain Marvel, and it was actually Shazam. Um, and uh, there was some kind of problems with with uh, with rights. They they lost the rights, and uh, Marvel immediately jumped on that, took the rights, and they made Captain Marvel. Uh, <laughs> and uh, later, and it, it was a guy. And then, then later they they bring they they, they brought uh, the Mrs. Marvel, which is now Captain Marvel, and and then DC bought the the or, original character Captain Marvel, but they couldn't use the name, so they just went with Shazam. <laughs> it's, it's, it's pretty cool, actually. You know? Ron wants to to record my vape and put it as a ringtone. Do it. Okay. Are you ready, Ron? You know, I, I will fall asleep soon, so you have to press record. Was that okay? <laughs> it had some loop sound at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Okay, let's finish it for tonight. Yeah, we're we, we, we don't can... have uh, we don't have to show anything good. You just should see two people without SL ones talking. Well, that was definitely the best part of the whole thing. We've learned a lot of stuff. Yeah, uh, I wasn't expecting it to be that cool, honestly. Why not? Decent I don't know. Human beings know. that can can talk. <laughs> I'm, I'm talking about this one. I, I really wanted to model something, but I was so distracted and like I I have a feeling that I what is take... what is pinama party? I know pinama party, but pinama party is first time I you know <laughs> never heard the never heard of that one before. <laughs> pinama. <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, pizza. Okay, well, because I thought I thought it was a new drink that I don't, I'm not aware of. I well, am in my pajama. Well, for for a minute, you know, I I got scared. <laughs> yeah. Now 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 I I can see <laughs> why. <laughs> <laughs> you can, eh? <laughs> okay. No to myself. Let's never do that again. <laughs> <laughs> Chris Fries so, has eight folders in one project. Hey, Chris, have you found a way how you can do live Boolean and apply it to all of the stuff that's inside folders? If you have, please uh, yeah. write so, me. So, so was this one, this one. 
So maybe maybe then I will actually use those <laughs> folders. But I'm I, I'm I'm not very organized person. Like you should you should see my video files. It's it's terrible, especially when my colleague needs to to tweak something. It's like composition one, composition five, co composition inside composition fifteen. <laughs> Wanna see wanna see my list? One one of my folders. It's an absolute mess. <laughs> Ta da <laughs> Here is an STL folder. You will probably find around five hundred STL folders in my PC. Okay. <laughs> At least you don't have like STL fo folder with ZLT files, which is something I do. Trust me, I do. I do that. And if you if you if you look at my desktop, it's even worse. And now it's you know, I, it, it's in good shape right now. <laughs> Imagine that. Okay, if if you want to really go that that way, I have another screen. You just saw um, one. You just, RAM. you know, you know, you ruin, you ruin your RAM with that. I know. Yeah, but I... you keep, yeah, you, you keep doing it anyway. Yes, I'm a lazy guy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Fine. I'm not, I'm not trying to avoid that. I'm, I'm not very all organized, but I do a lot of stuff. And I, I the the other day I was I was uh, doing stuff for. For patients organizing folders, and it took me more time than I expected, and I haven't even finished it. And <laughs> and so someone noticed the other only the other day that a bunch of folders were completely empty. <laughs> it didn't even update. Properly. <laughs> so I had to do it again. Have I tell you the story with Lucio, with my Lucio? No. What what happened with the with my Lucio? I was you know how how many months you're in zebras now? Or four or five? Mm, let's say six. Six months. Okay. I, let's say I'm six months and I do you know I need a week to make him a full figure <laughs> or something like that. Ten days. And I'm making Lucio and I'm start. This is the first time I start working with sub tools and you know. It's it's a mess. I I'm trying so hard. I never sleep. I never eat. <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm on it. And when I finally finish Lucio, I say, okay, let's back up. <laughs> and I deleted the correct folder. Yeah. Then. <laughs> and thank God, Zebras had a quick save. Yeah, quick save. <laughs> Saved my ass a few times. Yeah, but, but yeah, but until until I I remember I I know that there is a quick save because I'm new, you know, and that I thought I lost it, and I'm like in, in four a.m. I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm like that, and I, I speak to myself, and I and I'm sweating, and I'm like, oh oh, uh, ten days of work just went no, I and I didn't press delete. I pressed shift delete. <laughs> I just destroyed it. <laughs> yeah, well, like why why wouldn't you? That's that's completely normal. When you're deleting stuff stuff, you need to be sure that they are deleted properly. I always shift uh, delete. I'm I'm bored to go to the recycle bin and delete again. Sorry. Luckily I I do a lot of stuff. Um, like I save a lot of stuff on Dropbox and uh I have three computers synced to that Dropbox, so you know, like when whenever I I think I deleted something, I quickly try to connect to the other computer and just you know start <laughs> stop syncing so, so I can save files. It happened a few times, so yeah. so I'm ready for that kind of situations. And yeah, now now that now that I have the faster internet, I can do that as well because. I couldn't do that as well. Yeah, but the funny, the funny thing you do in the whole thing is that I don't know how many times I was rushing and doing that. I didn't even know that Dropbox actually have undo option. 
So whatever you delete is still gonna stay there. You can save it. Yeah. Well, there's no fun in this. It's <laughs> it's better if you delete something. It's deleted, and you know you cry. Oh, few few times when when we were doing some kind of we we did the TV ad and it was like an expensive thing. And then uh, you like try to copy all of the footage that you recorded your entire day onto a computer and it says empty. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like a lot of money invested and and you're like one of or like one of two person that are looking at at the computer and that card <laughs> and, and you're thinking like how 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 we're gonna say that to, to everyone <laughs> else on the set. Like, can we do everything again, but faster? <laughs> yeah, that, that's the scary stuff. Thank God you didn't direct Game of Thrones because we would may, we would wait more than two years. <laughs> I, I, I don't even know how production that big gets organized. Who are those people who are organizing stuff? That's insane. Who else, who else is excited about Game of Thrones? Me. Pick your hands. Can <laughs> I see? Can I see hands? It's 23 of March. We have how many days? Seven and 14, 21 days. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I don't know how that thing will end. The more and more they were closing the the last season it, it was getting more brand more, more action it, it, it didn't feel right for me that much i had fun but brand you know, is the night king we'll see brand is the night king maybe hellboy will show up and kick their asses <laughs> oh my god Never seen it. Really? Well, you didn't miss much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it's a really great show. You, you should watch it. it. It kind of starts slow and it's occasionally weird. And first two, three seasons had really slow starts of the season which was kind of annoying but then like everything goes crazy and in the right pace and characters are amazing do we agree where are you rob is where am i yes i'm here uh Rob is rewatching. You, you told me you start watching again one week ago and you're on season five. Do you go to work? Do you have a bath? <laughs> now I know why you didn't make any, any new models last week. He's on season five, man, <laughs> in a week. No, it, it was pretty cool, actually. Um, I did promo from a video we were shooting uh, for three days in, in Dubrovnik and uh, on Lokrum Island, uh, two locations where, where they were shooting Game of Thrones and we were on, on those locations. It was a pretty cool thing. Yeah, because our country, my country, didn't give them permission to direct an episode here. And they came to Croatia. You know that. <laughs> we, we almost lost lost them also because of <laughs> we we wanted more money. Like, yeah, that's that's reasonable. People. That's reasonable. They have a lot of money, so why you just don't ask for more? Well, sometimes it's it's not a good thing. Like, do you know that uh, Pirates of the Caribbean almost like they didn't almost shoot uh, like. Uh, sequels at all because because of few million dollars it is yeah. like few million dollars dollars for production are not much but it was like that stupid mental barrier that they they didn't want to cross and almost they completely discarded the whole project and i'm not glad they continued it because except one <laughs> everything else sucks <laughs> so it's okay well, 
I, I like second and third also because of the characters. The third? Yeah. Uh, like, come on, it was okay. Yeah, it was like, like yeah, it's not like one. A problem problem with, with sequels are that people are expecting stuff like larger than life, but come on, if you if you uh, like divide parts of Pirates of the Caribbean two and three, like into segments and look at each segment, it's they did so many cool things there. Like uh, sometimes I'm, I'm just watching those as uh, some kind of research, and there are there are a bunch of cool stuff, cool uh, especially like um, cool enemy designs. All of those fish. Yeah, of shows. course. Of course. It, it's it's an amazing experience. I, I like that stuff. The concept art was very good. Okay, I have to say that. You know, they, David Jones and his crew, and you know, even, stuff even, like that. Even I, I, I love how Jack Sparrow was great in in the the beginning of the the third movie when he's in that sand covered thing, you know, in underworld with with those yeah. crabs. It it was it was crazy, but it was fun. It was a great experience. What I didn't like was and ending fight where there's just so much stuff happening like i i hate in movies these days just like i hated in in the avengers the last one when you have a bunch of generic stuff happening you know, it's, yeah avengers had like 5000 superheroes so they can they couldn't do anything else they they had to to, to make a, a 7 hour movie if if you if, if you want to show everything you can't do that. You yeah, know, but, that's but, why they have a second movie. But you can't. You can't solve these heroes. That's why <laughs> they killed half of them. <laughs> but um, it's not. It's not that. It's it's those generic generic enemies that they throw. Like let's let's put like million random characters attacking them, so we can fill I don't know half an hour of the movie. It's eh. like I'm watching that and I'm waiting for something better to happen. You know, it's, yeah, it's almost like you're watching a porn movie and you wait until action stops so you can actually see the parts of the story in the movie. No, you don't wait. <laughs> you just press forward where it feel where it feels better for you. You know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're sorry. We're too yeah. tired. <laughs> we're going places um okay Let, let's just definitely finish it now uh have a good night people uh those 15 that are watching right now the 15 uh, heroes that you know still stay, watching this yeah yeah those are the party people <laughs> ron and and rob <laughs> they're like party rob is probably asleep again so but watching tarzan but it's okay you mean Conan? No, Tarzan. Uh -huh. uh, did he told you that he's watching Tarzan or? No, the when he was showing uh, you what you want to make, you know, Lobo, whatever. He said he, everyone looks like Tarzan to me. Well, I know. <laughs> so it's okay. Tired of shit, so watching this in bed. Yeah, Grumpy brought us to bed. Ugh. Let, let's not go there. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's like it's like I'm skyping with sixteen friends, uh, and we're trying to fall asleep, saying a bunch of bullshit. Yeah, like <laughs> I think we started saying goodbye half an hour ago, and it, it, it kind of feels like no, you hang up. No, you hang up. <laughs> <laughs> sixteen years old. <laughs> Yeah. Anyway, uh, have a good night, people, or the rest of the day. It depends where you are in the world. Uh, I promise next time we're going to try to model something. This time for real. Unfortunately. What 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 are you what what are you talking about, Grumpy dude? <laughs> what, what is his what is what are you saying? <laughs> 
that he's a nice guy and you can uh, rest in his bed without any kind of judgment or consequences. He's winking to us, man. <laughs> I would say he's winking to you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You have a good night, people. It's fine. Right? Next time we will sculpt. Yeah. Fat, fat man. <laughs> and, you know, skinny man and whatever. Say something nice to people. Yep. <laughs> good night. Good night.